Hi, my name is Sana Aras from Kurdistan region of Iraq, and this is my contribution to the Global Inspirational Voices initiative led by the World Network of Leader Entrepreneurs. Here in this video, I would like to talk about the life of orphan children in Iraq, especially the children who lost their families and parents due to the terrorism operation and the, due to the explosion operation after 2003. Here, I would like to talk about that after 2003, after the process of liberation in Iraq from the dictatorial system, many children lost their families due to the terrorism operation and explosion operation. Here, I would like to talk about that there are many children who have or are living in a bad situation and have a very difficult life. There are many children who are working on the street. Many orphan children left school due, the, due to the terrorism and explosion operation. Here, I would like to talk about that. There are about, according, according to the data, there are about 4 million orphan children in Iraq. There are about 600,000 children who are living and working on the street. I would like to say that despite all this tragedy and pains and fears, and sadness that face our society. We, there is always hope. We should work together to build a new country and new society for our children. We should work very hard to, to change the life of orphan children in Iraq. Especially, I would like to talk about that. It is the main responsibility of everyone to care about the safety and life of the orphan children in Iraq. Also, it is the main responsibility of government to take care or support the orphan children uh, and in finishing their school and education. I would like to say that it is the main responsibility of government to provide or build more orphanages for them or more shelter for them, for the orphan children. I would like to, to talk about that it is the main responsibility of everyone, of each citizen in our society to show respect and love and care to the orphan children. I would like to talk about that. What we can do? What's our responsibility to, the, to save, to support the life of orphan, orphan child? Um, I think we should build better special centers for developing and improving and empowering their talents and skills in any field that they have or they like it. For example, we can help them or support them in developing their skills in drawing or music. These centers can be specialized for, for example, this center can perform or implement special events or festival for the children. I would like to say that because of the war of terrorism or terror in Iraq or conflicts of war, uh, the, the war had back, bad impacts and effects, had bad uh, impacts on the children's life. Um, I would like to say that we should help these children and give them psychological support because they don't have any mothers and fathers and they are deprived from their love and from their kindness. So we should work very hard to change the life of orphan children in Iraq. Um, I would like to mention another point. All the children have rights in this world. Also, the orphan children in Iraq have the same rights. It is our responsibility to protect the orphan children from violence and from discrimination. And we should allow them to represent or uh, ex express themselves and their opinion. And we should listen to their opinion and views and respect them. Um, I would like to say that. Um, in, I would like to mention an, a very nice and a very beautiful quote or 
a sentence of Mother Teresa who says, if you cannot feed other people, just feed one. And I would like to say that if you cannot help all the orphan children in Iraq, so just help one, one, per, one orphan child. Believe me, if you try to make, a, to try to to make a, a orphan child happy. So, if you try to educate an orphan child, so you are trying for a built future for our country and society. That was my video. I wish you enjoyed. Thanks and bye.